Who could have done this? Summon Servine and the kids. Asuis. What makes you think you should be king, Claudius? Because I want Gertrude that's my queen. She's already queen. Besides, you can't be king while King Hamlet is still around. Servine, you've been summoned. Order of the queen. Where's Sir James Jr. and Lady Sally Jr.? In Prince Hamlet's room, I think. Why, what's happened? The king's dead. What? You want to see me, my queen? Yes, I do. I need you to investigate what happened. All right. Have Sally Jr. and Jones Jr. meet me at base. As you wish. Don't worry, my prince. You will be king one day. Maybe sooner than you think. Sir Jones Jr. and Lady Sally Jr., you're hereby ordered to base. Order of Sir Ryan. Oh, summons up. Ryan, what is it? Well, you're not going to believe this. The king is dead. What? How? Our physician said he was murdered. How? He said it was ear poison. Only question is, who poured it into his ear? I'll speak to the guards, see what they know. Great idea, James Jr. My queen, has Prince Hamlet. Grieving, I'll talk to him. As his mother is my responsibility. If you find anything out, let me know. As you wish. Alright, NBA Knights, what do we know so far? Well, do we know the guards were on duty, although two guards did see someone near the king's quarters. Who? King Claudius. Hang on, did you say King Claudius? Yes. Claudius married the queen and became the new king of Denmark. Oh, great. He could ruin our case. Let's not worry about that. For now. As you were saying, James Jr., King Claudius was seen near the king's quarters, but they didn't see anything in his hand. Maybe he was hiding it in his outfit. Prince Hamlet is working on something. What? I don't know. Hello, NBA Knights. Say hello to the new king of Denmark. Well, congratulations, your fakeness. Ryan, respect. Yes, sir, Ryan. Have some respect for the new kin. I understand you're still working on who killed the former kin? Yes, we are. May I ask you something? You're fake. I mean, your majesty. You may. Where were you when he was murdered? I was in my quarters. Why you ask? We had guards who say you were spotted near the kin's quarters. Yes, I was. But I only can't see how my brother was doing. Okay. Thank you, your fake. I mean, your majesty. Carry on. I'm not buying it. Why did you call him fake? Because I don't think he's the rightful kin. He knows he was at the kin's quarters when King Hamlet died. Guys, we have no choice but to assume it's Claudius. I must speak with the Queen at once. Meanwhile, I need you to see what Prince Hamlet is up to. Okay. My Queen, may I speak with you? Certainly. Is King Claudius about? No. Why? It's going to be complicated to explain, and I understand if it comes to being thrown into the dungeons. You seem nervous, Sir Ryan. Is there something you want to tell me? I have, um, reasons to believe Claudius killed your husband, but I have no way of proving it. Listen to me very closely, Sir Ryan. Are you sure Claudius killed my husband? I do, but I need to prove it. I understand. But you must know, you can't accuse anyone without proof. When there's proof, then I'll understand. I know. You may go. So Ryan, I do believe you, but you must know, the sake of the kingdom is in my hands. I'll find proof and save the kingdom, my queen. Off you go. Well, let's just say she believes us. Question is, how can we prove it? I know Prince Hamlet had this idea. We can expose Claudius by doing a play. Are you sure about that? Because we're performing for the king and queen. Any mishaps is a dungeon for all of us. Well, don't worry, because it won't be us performing. The jester and his friends will do it for us. Alright, and with this play, we can expose Claudius for who he is.
Sir Ryan, Sir James Jr., Lady Sarah Jr., we need you to come with us. Why has something happened? You three are under arrest. Order of the king. What? The king? You mean King Claudius? Yes. On what grounds? Treason. What? I'm sorry, guys, but I have to do my job. My king, we all do respect, but this is outrageous. How can we commit treason when we've been following the queen's orders? Silence. I've been hearing from my gods that you are planning to kill me. What? My king, I dispute that claim. All we've been doing is investigating the king's death. Nothing more. Do you have proof to support that? Yes. The jester, Prince Hamlet. I will stop you right there. Prince Hamlet is too unstable to understand these facts. That's a lie. And you know it. You are aware of who you're talking to. Well, answer me this. Where were you when King Hamlet was murdered? Perhaps maybe you had the ear poison? You said to me before finding out the king died, you wanted Queen Gertrude as your queen. And I said to you that you can't be king while King Hamlet is still around. Maybe my suspicion was right. I had reasons to believe that you killed the king. Silence! Sir Ryan, Sir James Jr., Lady Sally Jr., for the charge of treason, you are hereby sentenced to death. Taking place tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I believe we got a play to watch. Take them away. We know you killed them and we'll prove it! Well, that's just great. Right, you stupid moron. You said any mishaps, it's a dance for all of us. Well, here we are. He knows he done it. He just won't admit it. I only hope it's his play. So Ryan, Prince Hamlet, is what you're saying true? Did my uncle kill my father? Yes, he did. Listen, we need your help. I need you to get a confession out of your uncle with this play. I will, for my father told me the same thing. Really? Yes. You see, this ghost appeared to me claiming to be in the gods of my father. He told me about how my uncle murdered him, so I swear vengeance for my father, for I decide to face madness while I test the truth of the ghost's allegations. So, with this play, you can do that, get a confession out of him. And so it shall be. Hang in there, we will. Hey, what is this? If you're playing me, there's no way I will use that much poison. You did this, didn't you? You set up that play to make me confess. Well, what do you know? You did kill Hamlet, just as I thought. Well, not to worry. Once I'm done with Hamlet, you're all dead. Just you wait. I will burn you all to the ground until your blood bleeds everywhere. Kill them on the spot. Where is he? Son. You're overreacting. He murdered Dad. You must believe the NBA knights. Paulius, I'm so sorry. I thought you were my uncle. Why is this? Sorry, Sir Ryan. Order of the king, you must die. I'm sorry, but this is for the sake of the kingdom. Let's go. We need to stop Claudius from killing Hamlet. You ready to kill Hamlet? Yes. Claudius, you murdered my dad. And you murdered my dad. To get to him, you have to get through me. Fine. Just as long as he dies. Perhaps you want to eat or drink something before you battle? Thank you, dear. No, wait! No. Maybe you want to eat something? Hamlet, don't take anything. They're poisoned. No! You tell Fontenberg what happened here. The king is dead. So is the queen. And the prince. 
Good work, guys. I told you before, you were not right to be kin. Who even are you? We're the knights of the NBA, your fakeness. Sir Ryan, Sir James Jr. and Lady Sarah Jr. In life what happened, on behalf of the deceased Queen Gertrude, I would like to, on behalf of the kingdom as well, thank you for exposing the truth. Also, to apologise for the wrongly accused charges brought against you. Just to clarify, my lord, were not sentenced to death? No, Lady Sarah Jr., as it was a mistake. Also, for your standard work of this kingdom, I proudly would like to knight your team. So by the power invested in me, I hereby knight you as Knights of the NBA Table. Thank you, my lord. Now, off you go. Well, Knights of the NBA Table? Well, we are known as just NBA Knights, so an upgrade is great. Cool. Alright, Knights of the NBA Table, let's get to work by order of King Fortibus. Wish we had a prince to play with. <laughs>